next topic, uh, black men don't. Black men don't what? What? Gee. what what's the black? <laughs> nah, I don't know. I can't say this. Man, this ain't black men don't cheat. We ain't nobody. Yo, black men don't cheat. Participating in those relationships or interactions look like if you're not ready. I mean, most of the time they're superficial. You're giving someone a portion of yourself instead of the whole. Let me ask you like this: How should it look if you're not ready? Like, what should you be doing if you're not ready to commit? If you if you're not ready to commit, you should be able to communicate. But that's where we drop the ball. Wow. We're not able to effectively articulate. I just want to have fun. Mm. I got a better question. What is cheating? Mm. What is cheating? Where Which are breach of contract? Backing down outside of the is person. Is it breach of contract? Breach of contract. <laughs> is it texting? Is it looking at an ass? Like everybody has. Nah, it. It. Everybody yeah. looks. I think it's. I think it's. I think I don't cheating even like is the girl like, looking at a nigga. Okay, so you in a room and your girl come in, you don't know she in there. If you doing something that you couldn't go back and tell her, you cheat. Oh, that's cheating. I feel like, you. I don't know. I can, I can sit, I can what? sit. I understand I can what he's saying. I can sit, I can sit with my girl, with my girl and understand. be like, babe, she got fat ass. And she like, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, so that's not cheating. Now, niggas do that because niggas more, do that. more times than yeah. not, she telling you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's better if a woman do that. Now look, y'all, because this is the thing, bro. I get it. I'm not I'm not negating what you're saying, because I think that there are things that we can do together. But what I'm saying is that there are things that are absolutely kosher. Nothing is wrong with them and that my girl don't play with. We're not playing with that shit. You me having a relationship with this person, there's nothing expressly wrong with that. But fuck all that. Fuck all that happy to be here shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not playing it. So it's cool, like our conversations are even such that maybe. That's cool if, if y'all talking you having a conversation, I don't want to see it. Right? So if my girl's walking to the room and I oh, but I don't know you anymore, that's it. You know what I'm saying? And when she leaves, and when she leaves, maybe we'll be talking again because it's I think that's about compromise. You know what I'm saying? It's, so it's about there are things, right? There are things that I'm not willing to forfeit, but I'm also sensitive to the way that you feel. Right? Like so for me, okay, like let's say you got like you she had a uh, I don't know, a best friend who a, who a guy. Yeah. So that's cool, y'all be laughing and giggling and shit. Y'all do what friends do. But I don't want to be next to y'all laughing and giggling and shit. Cause I'm like, <laughs> all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. stop all that. You know what I'm saying? It's always in your mind that that best friend can be, you know, that she's vulnerable. Yeah. Because but women are like, always I love that best friend. That's no, no, do you, do you, do you believe in the best friend thing, though? Like no, a male no. best friend for a woman. No. No. I don't bother no. with no. You can't even, you can't be attracted. You can't be attracted to you. Why is that? Why, is that, the best friend, why is that? Because the, the best friend, if you're an opposite sex, you're the person that you go to. You tell all your problems. Basically, you give them the cheat codes. Yeah. But see, the thing, so you got as, the as, but see, the thing is, you shouldn't have a relationship outside of your relationship. Like, okay, yeah. this is your friend, but y'all shouldn't have no secrets. Like, you talking about intimacy? You, I'm talking about like, so my girl, I my like girl, girl, my girl got a male best friend. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have no fucking secrets that I don't know. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, that's true. You, you shouldn't keep no covenant with him because now that's an intimate relationship. You the gatekeeper. Yeah, 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 you, should, like, yeah, yeah. you should be able. If you that's can't, hard, if you bro. can't tell me something, then y'all, y'all shouldn't be talking like that. That's, that's a scary that's thing hard, to deal with. Having, Why? Uh, that's hard. I, I have that that situation. My girl has a guy best friend and a girl best friend. It's like they're more so like family. You yeah. know, the mom has deemed them okay. This is like son. But I've had that issue myself. I'm like, yo. Like, I know my girl find this shit. I'm like, it's no way that this dude didn't want don't to like smash my yeah, yeah, Also, like also, it, yeah. also like sometimes peace, women don't always understand the term friend. So yeah. as a man, sometimes we can go platonically and talk to a woman and be her friend. But there are other guys that already know the end goal. I could be your friend for 10 years, yeah. but that one moment you slip up, you open the legs. But see, but, 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 you, you got to think about it like this. As a man, 
I, I found out for myself, I learned how to read dudes that go around my girls that claim yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A dude definitely. will always give you the wrong vibe if he got more, yeah, you know what I'm saying, intentions. And, and, yeah. and more yeah. intentions for or her not. than do. Or not. You yeah. know, sometimes I mean, if it was me, I'm a stealth flyer. You know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't know if it, but I'm, but I think at this point, though, because for me, it's not even that none of those things exist. I think, like, even when I think about my relationship, the reason why that's functional is because I think we should, we should redesign and rethink whose job it is to police those relationships. That's not my job. I don't think about it, where you at, that's who you with, how it's going. Yeah. Because it's the thing, it's the thing. Yeah. Even if in a 10 year stretch, if there's gonna be a time, that ain't got nothing to do with their relationship. That's about character. It could have been any nigga. It could have been a stranger. It could have been, you know what I mean? Joe blow off the street if I was feeling like, oh, I'm vulnerable right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't want, I don't want her policing that for me. I don't want her saying like, who is this and what is that? I mean, not in a, in an extra man. Yeah, you yeah, ask definitely. a question, I answer the question. But I don't want to be in a relationship where it is my responsibility to police that relationship for me. Because yeah. that's tiring. Nah, you know what I mean? That's what's tiring. Don't worry about that. Like, yeah. like, like, with me and my girl, man, right? I have, like, I'm, I'm around females all the time. So, but she knows them. Right. Like, she knows them. She has her own relationship with them. And it's not anything that I have to keep from her. Exactly. So she is able to, like, see, engage, and make her little comments. And tell me if she's comfortable with something or not. The, where we mess up at is that we have these friends that your girl don't know about. And and, and that's my whole thing. That's, 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 that's my whole thing. That's my that's whole, whole thing. Whole different when thing. you're in a relationship, you're telling yourself, I'm not just thinking about me anymore. I think about us. So there are strengths and weaknesses in every single relationship. But a lot of times, us as men make the weaknesses in the relationship. I make it. I make it my job. If there's a woman out here, and I know she's attractive, and she's been my friend all this time, I explain to my shit like, "Yo, this is my friend. We go way back." And then I try to bring them around each other, so yeah. you really see it's nothing like yeah. that. What, what messes us up though, and that's why I ain't gonna say that whole black man don't cheat thing because I'm all for the harmony kumbaya movement. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, you want your own on this one. Yeah. But black men don't cheat though. But listen to it like that. Yeah, I'm not gonna put that. So I'm not gonna stand man, up for all that. As the man, I think it's a little bit easier <laughs> to have those relationships with the opposite sex, right? Because as the man, we're the one that makes the leap. We're the one that takes the next step. We're the one that confronts it like, yo, what's up? What's up with it, right? So if a girl has a male best friend, she might not be like interested or whatever but that moment that he makes that leap and like jumps that line of that friendship like now she has to make a decision right so it's like you look at her like why do i need to tell you about this nigga like i can see it you know what i mean i can see that he wants you you know what i mean but it's like i tell a girl send that text out you at night you want to find out this nigga your friend send that text out right Hey, I'm lonely. Come over. If he come yeah, over, yeah, if he come over, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Because look, look, look. Because when I was when I was a single person, we friends. But if you, that's what she, what she's doing effectively is erasing the line. I'm not violating that. She sent me to come, nigga. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm coming because the line never existed. Because I got friends if they text me, I'm never going. But see, that's because, my friend. that don't mean that that doesn't mean that y'all weren't ever friends. That means that I mean because relationships change. If you can move, you if you can move, man, if you can move from stranger to friend, you can move from friend to fucking. That's not you know what I'm saying. Yeah, this yeah. Is, yeah. you said sometimes it's the guy that crosses the line. Not all the time. Not, not this really not because this this what happens. What happens is, shorty mad at you. I'm the best friend. She's gonna confide, confide, convey me. And what I'm gonna do is what y'all won't do, which is listen. Mm. I'm gonna listen to what she says, and then I'm gonna repeat what she says with understanding. Mm -hmm. So that's when it's like, yeah, this it. guy really gets me. You know what I'm saying? And then what we do is, you know, she's opening, you know, she's opening up, pull out her phone, just text a little, text another girl, she gonna get mad. That's when you know you got it. But think about it. You can't be around my girl. Yeah, hey, ever, hey, ever, ever, hey, ever. Hey, you ever. can't be around hey, my girl. Ever. Just for that moment, for the yeah. sport, right, right, for the sport. Right. 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 So it's it's more of a physical thing. Yeah. So women cheat because of an emotional thing. Yeah. A woman could be around a man for a long time, bro. Look, times are changing, so we're starting to go over to the man thing. But naturally, women she felt more comfortable with Josh. Yeah. She's able to talk to Josh, so Josh starts being more attractive to her. Yeah. 
Josh. Now yeah. she's confiding in Josh. Now she's crying too, Josh. She's she thinking about it. Now she's starting thinking about Josh a whole different way that she never thought about and him three years ago. To Josh. Yeah, because she's she oh, well, well, she she And guess what? At the end of the day, Josh got the pussy. Yeah. Oh, but see, so then in my mind, in my mind, you need Josh. Yeah. If you look, if you want to know, this one, because this is the Please thing. Please explain that. Help, let me help you. Listen to me, Josh. Listen to me. Because this is the thing. Without Josh, right, effectively, you could have just this neutered ass relationship. You do some bullshit, she don't have nothing to compare you to. Which is what, honestly, this is the G. Because niggas think that, oh, you shouldn't have friendship came out of nowhere. Isolation, bro, is a form of abuse. That shit is not. Accidental. I'm cutting you off in the rest of the world for that reason specifically. I don't want you to have girlfriends because they're going to be like, your nigga ain't shit. You don't need to have boyfriends because they're going to be listening to shit. And I don't need all that. I need you here with me because if I'm your only point of reference, there is no good and bad. It just is. So this is what I'm saying. Bro, but if you got a Josh, you're not going to slip, bro. If your girl was friends with Josh, you would listen to motherfucker girl, ain't you? You see him? But, see, <laughs> but think about <laughs> it. This is what I'm saying. Josh got the go. Because think about like even when, you, even when you think about even when you think about like who who is best at what? When when you say both practice, do he practice by himself? No. Because you need you need somebody to push you, bro. You need and for a large part of our social interactions, society and relationships outside of our relationships, a lot of the time are what push us to be better. Some of my homegirls, I'm having conversations with them about things in general mm-hmm. or even about things that's going on with me, and they provide a perspective that I'm using to further my relationship. Right. Right. But I get yeah. what you're saying, though. You yeah. got to have balance, though. Yeah. Yeah. You got to have balance. Like, and and, and, and you, say that, you say that when your circle is strong. True. Sometimes... We get in a relationship with somebody that builds us up, and that circle isn't to the standard of what the person you're with. Mm. So at that point in time, all those other outside relationships become detrimental. That's what I was saying. And that's, and that's the point where you got to get to. For me and my woman, bro, we talk about this. And somebody told me a long time ago, they said the easiest way, it was my dad, matter of fact, the easiest way to mess up a relationship is let everybody else get into yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So you have to keep your relationship, your relationship. There should be no venting with this, that, and the uh, third. Oh, because I, 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 so I, 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 this, you got to understand. This, this, this is why I say that. So many times in a relationship, we learn how to fix our relationship through somebody else's eyes that we don't know how to fix things within our own self. Yeah, but I mean, okay. but it's, but but it's a matter, matter of this point. Though. I want to make this yeah. point. You were speaking about isolation. I think it's a difference in isolating yourself from people and friends from cutting toxic people out of your life. A lot of sometimes your home, her home girls are toxic. Sometimes your homeboy yeah. are toxic. And hey, when you in a relationship, bro, you really see Who the don't behaviors, like it, yeah. bro. Like soon when I got serious in my relationship, I said I'm really not cheating. I'm not doing nothing. I'm trying to keep it straight. <laughs> All of my friends, they hit the club. All, I mean, everywhere I go, bro, it's like you can't avoid it. You in the club, you going to kickbacks, and it's like women everywhere. It seems like it's times ten. Then when you even trying to do right, let you mess up one time. That toxic homegirl that she got, yeah. she gonna throw you under the bus. You know every that? time too. I don't every time. time. But nigga, is she toxic time. if you fucked up? Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's like, <laughs> it's like simple disagreements in a relationship, bro. It's different than like if you really fuck up. But I'm talking about like if you. Simple relationships, you know how it is, you and your girl get in an argument. If she take that one small thing you did, amplify it times right. 10, yeah. and her homegirl in her ear, like, yeah, I know you should have talked to Tyrone. He would have never done you like that. But it's, that shit's like, toxic, bro. Seed. But it's like she's planting the seed when she does that. But you That's need, what I'm saying. You you need other people. That seed. That's what I'm saying. You need those other people because it's like, my, my girl only got a perspective. So if I bring everything to her, She's only going to give me one side of everything. It's like the girlfriends that I have, they can bring mm-hmm. me other stuff. Now, you don't have to listen and apply everything. Mm-hmm. Right. But if she makes a good point, it's like you said, take it, mold it for what fits me and my relationship and build from it. It's mm-hmm. like I can't grow. If I'm in the same fish fish tank all my life, how am I going to grow? Right. That's true. It's not until I get in the ocean and I, I meet different fish and I'm like, okay, like yeah. I'll take a little piece of that. I'll take a little piece of that. See, and I'm not saying you should isolate your girl. It's, it's a yin. It's, it's a yin. It's a balance. It's a yin. It's a true. Yeah. 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 Yo, you gonna say that, bro? Toxic people, remove those. Keep people who bring value to your it's a It's a yin and a yang on that. Like, I don't need a Josh personally, 
but I see, I understand how the outside can be taken in. I need somebody on my level. And if she's not on my level, then we build each other up to the same level so we can use each other's mind and fix our own issues, you know what I'm saying? We got people, you know, like, and that's the foundation that you have with friends, the energy you put out, that's what's gonna come in. If you focus on having a great relationship, you can do that as much. But you know, like, at the same time too, men are gonna be vultures too, you know, like, that it's like, okay, are you at the point? Are you at the point? to where you can be your highest potential and you don't cheat because everybody has that capability. Yeah, I think that more so comes with growth in life too. Like if you it look does. at all of us right now, how we talking, we wasn't talking like this nah, oh, hell, hell, 10 nah, years ago. Hell, nah. You know what I mean? And, and, and that's 10, isn't it? Like you said, <laughs> growth, growth, <laughs> you went way back. <laughs> growth from maturity and it has to do with environment, man. Yeah. You can't yeah. just, Put yourself in a certain environment all the time, mm-hmm. see it all the time, and think you're not gonna start forming oh, yeah. those thoughts, mm-hmm. like, speaking those words, that becoming your character. Eventually, mm-hmm. you gotta learn how to, like you said, get the toxic people out of your life. Yeah. Don't have somebody on lockdown, isolation, yeah. but at the same time, you gotta have a way where you control the environment or put yourself in the right environment. Yeah. Man, I can't go to the strip club even as a man in a relationship, seven days out the week, and sit in there 24 hours a day and not think about smashing one of them. Yeah. I mean, you can't, you, you can't be married with all single friends. Yeah. It's no, like, no. You right, right, can't be married it's with all single friends. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But see, I guess what I'm saying is like we understand it. We understand it when it's not. Because right now, we're speaking for a lot of us, ego is involved. That's what that is. Like we understand it when ego isn't there. Like when we think about children, ego isn't involved. So if I said it take a village to raise a child, everybody would be like, yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. That make a lot of sense. We, but we, bro, we're not not children anymore, right? You always gonna be learning and growing or whatever. You're a child still. You still need a village. Now I hear what you're saying. You you weed those people out. But like even when we think about like say a lawyer, a fool is a counselor who counsels himself. You need wise counsel, right? So you need. I'm not saying that all my homegirls, I call them up and be like, yo, let me tell you what my girl did today. It's been shit. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is like, if I call you and I say, look, I'm having, I'm thinking about something, right? I'm thinking about this situation and I feel like I'm missing it, right? And this is what I'm thinking and this is what I'm getting back. What do you hear, right? And that person, oftentimes, if you've done that work, early work, you weeded out the garbage. Yeah. Because my homegirls are, are such that, okay, what you're missing is this, right? Mm-hmm. Your, your girl, she's 100% right. You're missing this shit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. honestly, as soon as you get off the phone, you owe her an apology, and that's the, and that's right? The oh, yeah. And what I'm saying that's is that I'm getting that. on the phone because what ends up happening is even when you talk about trust between your girl and your friends, even if they don't have relationships, I'm not a person who want everybody to meet and I don't want to be friends with her friends yeah, yeah. either. Mm-hmm. But it means something to say, look, I was talking to, to one of my friends and they posed it to me this way. And I understand it in a way I didn't understand it before when we were talking. And I owe you an apology. And this is why, right? And they said, oh shit, okay. There's a person over there who don't even know me. Who, you know what I'm saying? Who, who's speaking yeah, truth, yeah. right? Yeah. And so, and whether it's homegirls, because they always got to be homegirls, I trust that my homeboys, if I call them, they're going to say, my nigga, you tripping, bro. Yeah. And you need to call her back or whatever. And what you, the, key to right. that, the key word to that is wise counsel. Wise counsel. Wise. 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 But it's a, it's a discipline, like you said, to make sure I define what these relationships are for your yeah. security. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? I don't, you, I don't want to bring up Tiffany, and every time you, I bring up Tiffany, your eyes are right. Like, and Tiffany, one of my best friends, yeah. is because I yeah. created that wow. that 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 aura. You know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't I didn't bring Tiffany into it like, yo, this is this is just this. Like, explain yeah. everything to you because now that I explain it to you, you like, damn, what did Tiff have to say about it? And, and you might fuck around and recommend it. You need to go call Tiff. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know what you're thinking right now. Go call Tiff and then get back to me in an hour. It's yeah. like you got to define that security, and it's like. As, as, as people in a relationship, it's, it's, that's our job. Like my job is to make sure you're secure. I'm not going to create competition for you. If, if I if I if I bring up a girl and you like and you like, mm, so who, so what so who's her? What's that? It's like now you now it's in your mind. You're like, dang, do I have to worry about this? Do I gotta, do I gotta check? Do I gotta read his messages? It's like because now I created the atmosphere. Yeah, and once you go looking, you gonna find something. That's true. Everything. But it seems like I'm gonna remember, remember that point. It bad. seems like black men cheat based on who they deal with. That's what it seems. That's what it sounds like I'm trying to say. Maybe. Based on who you deal with. Yeah. Cheat. But, uh, but as individuals, like you can, you can look at certain situations like 
like your own boys We ain't throwing no names out, but you know they've been in the situation before, and you knew they were still sliding. When you look at the girls, like, why? why you doing all like that? Like, like, then you start investigating, it's like, oh, maybe she don't meet the quote unquote thing needs that you got. But that's society too, though. Because if, they, hey, if you go to she, your friend and you be like, bro, you don't need to do that to her. Yeah. You turn like, bro, you don't need to do that to her. Like, if you gonna do that, then leave her. Like, then he just right. 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 stop telling you the shit out of you. I ain't talking to him again. I'm gonna tell you my shit out of you. Because all of this comes back to the point that you do what you want to do. So if there's somebody that you can cheat with, and you know you're gonna go to them with the perspective of, oh, I can get that. Or they're gonna come to you like, oh, I can get that. But based on what you're around, I think still it comes down to that main person, individuality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because you got the choice to do it or not. You have the power to do it or not. Are you weak enough to let your guard down and let this friend, let a judge come in and take your soul? Right. Or are you powerful are enough you to. <laughs> hey, you to the job. He said you're the soul reaper. The job. The job. The job is friendly ass. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking to Josh, so friendly ass. Or, or are you powerful <laughs> enough to withhold all your energy and push it off and know that it's bullshit? Call bullshit and protect your own power and energy. Real quick, because I feel like um, a big part of this, though, because when you think, when I think about this, I think about trust, and when I think about trust, I think about transparency, right? And so, I, what that means to me, though, just as a last thought, what that means to me is. A lot of times this work gets done, we managing these relationships, but your girl don't see the management, right? She don't get to, she's not a part of, so you haven't said to her, look, I was having this conversation with Tiffany, and it went this way, and that made me uncomfortable. So this is how that conversation went, and I think we have a better understanding of that. Or, I had this conversation with Tiffany, Tiffany not getting me, so if you don't hear me mention her no more, it's because of this, right? We not good like that. And once they, because they need to be able to, it's like when women trust you to be a breadwinner. They see you get up in the morning and go, then I trust you that kind of person. Every day I get up, your ass still sleep. Yeah. I'm like, yo. <laughs> so they need to see you work sometimes. They need to, they need you to walk them through that Include process. Them. Include them. Yeah. So I'm saying, like, you know, I got these friends, I manage it these ways. This is how these conversations go. This hasn't been going so well. I don't think I'm gonna keep it with her no more. And then they grow to trust your thought process. Yeah. And then it's a thought process. Your thought. Bro, you know what I'm saying? Bro.